The Lord showed me the parliament and it looked like there was a vacuum that was created. The place the Spirit of God is taking us to, there are no experts, no worldly experts that have been there. Now that is the place that the Spirit of God is taking you to, is ushering you into. There is not any man 
prophet, psychic, whatever you may call them, that has stood in front of masses and has been that detailed and that specific about things year in, year out, and you have seen them before you. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, the prophet with an unmatched record of prophetic fulfillments. These prophecies are indications that you are indeed in the presence of the testimony of Jesus, who is or which is the spirit of prophecy. This generation is aflame with a prophetic grace, so awakening that the accuracy of the prophecies by Prophet Elvis Mbonyi hits you like a blinding light, seeing through everything secret, mysterious, and all sorts of unclarity. Let the prophecies of Prophet Elvis Mbonyi awaken you to this reality that is the spirit of prophecy, the one true testimony of Jesus Christ. This is Prophecy. 7th January, 2014. The Lord showed me the parliament. And then he showed me um, something uh, that's going to take place. Um, he showed me um, a leader there. And it looked like there was a vacuum that was created that caused the entire parliament to almost stand still for like a week all and then and so away. And uh, I didn't see what it was, but I saw there was an empty space there. Now, I don't know whether the person had passed away, resigned, or uh, something terrible had happened, whatever. But there was a vacuum that was created that interrupted the normal proceedings there. And when I saw that vacuum, I felt bad. You know? it, was, it was not good that was happening. And so I began praying because I actually began picking up on a possible sickness that might hit this person so you know began praying for you know this person's life uh, i'm not going to say her or him i just prayed for this person's life eight years later uganda's speaker of parliament passed away due to strange illness leaving his office vacant which suddenly interrupted all parliament activities bringing them to a standstill for close to a week just like the prophet had prophesied. During Uganda, where the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, is dead. His death was announced by President Yoweri Museveni through his official Twitter account. Olunya, aged 56, was uh, referred abroad on February 3rd for specialized health care by doctors at Mulago National Referral Hospital, where he was first admitted in January. The position of the Speaker is now vacant because our Speaker of Parliament has died. No business shall be transacted in Parliament other than an election to the office of Speaker at any time that office is vacant. Jacob Olanya is the first Speaker to die in office in the history of Uganda, putting Parliament business on hold. Article 82, Clause 4 of the Constitution is the only reference to the current situation. It says no business shall be transacted in Parliament other than an election to the Office of Speaker at any time that office is vacant. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, a true prophet of God, has aligned, prospered, and preserved nations through this powerful prophetic anointing with his list of stunningly accurate prophetic fulfillments. For that, he is counted worthy of double honor. Glory to God! Tomorrow about this time, you surely will be in a better place. Glory to God!
Lord. Hallelujah. Now you see. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you open to what the Spirit of God? Glory to God. You see, what is going to happen here is gradually, gradually, you, we will acquaint you with the higher ways of the Spirit. You will learn that when we come here, we don't come here to fellowship the way it has been known. You will learn that this is the gathering of the host of heaven. You will learn that. You will learn that when we are here, we are there as well. You will learn that the Spirit of God is calling us to a depth of himself. And he says he cannot wait to have you there. <laughs> Glory to God. There's an urgency in the realm of the spirit as far as we are concerned to come closer to draw closer to participate in the things in the heavenly things with him glory to god and let me tell you this that you you will not remain the same don't count yourself out of this. Don't count yourself out. Don't let anyone count you out of this. A new chapter has been opened. A new chapter has been opened. Forget what you walked in. Forget the story of your previous chapters. This is something new. Brand new for you to walk in to experience glory to God glory to God hallelujah let me tell you this the holy angels of God are interacting with us now you can actually hear this sound <laughs> Are you hearing that? <laughs> I that sometimes I'm telling you sometimes sometimes I want to drop you physically and take you to this place I I I'm, I don't know how to express this let me tell you this that the place the Spirit of God is taking us to the place the Spirit of God is taking us to he talked about it in Job 28 verse 7 he says it is a place where no foul, no foul know it. The place where no foul know it. It says, it's a place where no foul know it, where the vulture has not seen. It says, there's a path which no foul know it, and which the vulture's eye, the vulture's eye has not seen. And uh, you see, see, there's a path, there's a path which no foul, no foul, no bad knoweth. The foul flies, and yet it does not know this place. It is supposed to see everything, but it does not know this place. And says, and which the vulture's eye has not seen. The place which the Spirit of God carries us. That place. There are no experts. 
no worldly experts that have been there the economists the finest economists of this world do not know that place the political scientists do not know this place the businessmen that are esteemed highly do not know this place this is a place which no foul knoweth no vulture's eye has seen you see let me tell you this the vulture and the fowl have known things and those things are limited to their reality so when the political scientist comes and tells you the boundaries of knowledge of success it is true it is true as far as they are concerned when the economists come and tell you how to operate in this life how to lift your economic life how to lift the national economy they are true as far as their reality is concerned but now you see there's a place there's a path that leads to a place where these guys have studied and researched and gone through everything but they do not know and they cannot find it they have not seen it now that is the place that the spirit of god is taking you to is ushering you into where you are coming up with ideas with revelations with operations that way transcend everything or anything the world has ever seen just be seated and continue in this glory he said there's a path there is a path which no foul knoweth and which the vulture's eye has not seen so you see all these guys all these guys they live in a reality that they think is the ultimate because they have studied these things they have experienced these things and according to them it is true they live in that reality but they fail to understand like so many fail to understand that there is another reality from another dimension that can't be seen that can't be known that can't be perceived when you operate on the five senses now that reality that reality it is the one that the spirit of god is making you conscious of by the day you're being made conscious of that reality by the day the spirit of god a couple of years ago it gave me visions of a people that are great that are mighty when i saw how they were operating and they were on this earth and it was in this age it was so startling that you would wonder whether something hasn't happened to them to their genetic makeup <laughs> they looked like mutants <laughs> like something had happened to them they would be in places at any time their names would appear anywhere they wanted their names to they operated they operated like not ordinary people and i saw them and i know it is you you see the time has come for this advancement the time is now for this advancement the time where operation our operations have been more like the average man has come to an end more and more they shall see a heavenly people manifest qualities that will baffle the minds of so many so you see when your neighbor out there tells you that oh you know all those things 
are fantasies because what is real is my monthly rent <laughs> you just know that yes as far as they are concerned that is their reality your reality is different your reality is different glory to god your reality is different the spirit of god is lifting men and women here to occupy positions of authority as i speak there are shakings that are going on just for you to walk in when it is already done glory to god you see man lost his estate in the garden of eden you see he was drawn away by the cunningness of the enemy and to a reality that so many call now the ultimate reality you see when he was drawn away he started to experience things of a certain level that to him he might have thought if he had not known another reality that this is what life is like this is what life is all about and so at that level the lord came to him and when the lord came to him he found that he was not in the place he had put him the lord came it says in the cool of the day the lord god came walking in the cool of the day and then he asked man where are you where are you now in other words there's a place we used to meet i do not find you there where are you we used to meet in a place where all things are possible when i came in that place you weren't there you were somewhere wallowing in fear in doubt in suspicion you know i have seen this over and over and over again there are people that i have known that i knew for quite a while and we were saved years ago with them and we did experience certain mighty things with them when you meet them later they are not in the same place they used to be their place has descended if you go to them and you're excited to meet them in the place where all things are possible you find when they are down they're not there they're no longer there at some point you glorified the hand of god and you knew you knew that he can do anything at any time without a shadow of a doubt at some point you came here and when i said be lifted up you knew that you were rising up then you see then you heard a voice and it spoke to you and it drew you away from your estate now when i say be lifted up you are in a place of carnal reasoning that's so why i asked where are you where are you <laughs> where is that place that place where we used to meet there is a path which no foul knoweth there is a path which the vulture's eye has not seen that is the place where the spirit of god is where the anointing is and when he comes to meet you there and he finds you not there he asks where are you come back to this place come to this place somehow he finds some in a place 
of reason in a place of the fallen nature he finds them there and when he tries to when he tries to effect things that are only effected in that realm there's a barrier of no 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 because they have been consumed by cynicism by suspicion by doubt by unbelief and you're no longer there now the spirit of god is showering fresh grace fresh grace i'm telling you that is a place the spirit of god is trying to take every one of us and he does not want to leave anyone behind and that is why he is saying this to those that are lost away from their first estate so he asked where are you and then the response is even more telling he says i heard your voice in the garden and i was afraid because i was naked and i was afraid because i was naked and i hid myself but you see there was a point in time when you were not conscious of this nakedness you knew that all things as far as you are concerned pertaining to you pertaining to your life were covered and you weren't afraid of god but then you heard a cunning voice telling you ah this cheap grace now when you heard a sound from heaven calling you into his heavenlies you thought no 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 i'm, I'm unworthy i am unworthy you were enthused before by the things of, of 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 the spirit and now you hear his voice calling you up hither then somehow you cannot flow along with him because you feel you are exposed and then he says who told you because it did not come from me who told you who told you that your life is worthless who told you that you are not covered did i tell you that my god supplies all your needs where have you developed the fear from i have told you that as long as you are partakers of this grace you are preserved now who told you that you're going to be fired it did come from me who told you that you're going to be harmed who told you that it's going to turn out in a very undesirable way who told you that it didn't come from me the most deadly thing that the church experiences in this day and age is the spirit of religion that binds people in a in, 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 in a ritualistic belief that keeps people and convinces people that there's nothing more than merely memorizing what they read in the scriptures let me give you an example we are all fond of the cross of Christ and we all appreciate the cross of Christ but you see there's a life beyond the cross of Christ there's a level beyond the cross of Christ it is called the resurrection you see it <laughs> you see the cross of Christ is actually a symbol of death and that is why Paul at some point says that if Christ be not risen from the dead he says our faith is futile you see there's a level beyond the cross stop crying about your sins and being forgiven and what no beyond that there is the resurrection you see and beyond the resurrection there is the ascension ascending high 
far above all principality and power and might and every name that is named and you see whichever place you station you are configured accordingly I said whichever place you station yourself you are configured accordingly and that is why the believers who hung around the cross and could not go past the cross they only preach forgiveness of sins and there's no miracle in their lives and then there are those who go to the resurrection and then there are those who go to the ascension glory to god now that is what we are talking about that is what we are talking about whichever place you station yourself you are configured accordingly you see this is you see what this is what, what i call the technology of the ascension starts to work in you when you cross over and you develop that consciousness of ascension that consciousness of the spiritual above the physical where death and every law of it has been defeated and left behind where you're now operating on a place that transcends space and time glory to god the atmosphere has been set, charged with the power from heaven itself for the rising and supremacy of the body of Christ, unlike any in world history. The glory is here. The glory is here. Hallelujah. Now you know what that means to you? Anything is possible. That means you have left the realm of limitations. Hallelujah. You have been called for a glorified assembling of God's elite helmed by prophet Elvis Mbonye, one whose prophetic display is drawing the world to the mountain of the Lord's house every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at the brand new Zoe Grounds at 47 Chigolweza, next to Akasha Lakeside Campus off the Entebbe Express Highway. For those who are flying in, contact our public relations desk by emailing pr at prophetelvis.com. This exactly is the reason the Lord brings you before a prophet. If the prophet can pick up on something that has not yet showed up in the physical and he declares it to you and you see it, he can tell you that your money is being counted glory to god i hear sound of an abundance glory to god to become an heir of gold visit our partnership desk every tuesday 5 30 p.m at the new zoe grounds lot 47 chigolweza next to akasha lakeside campus along the entebbe express highway or visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com slash heirs of gold it's a lifestyle. You can now listen, purchase, download, and watch supernatural life awakening messages from Prophet Elvis Simbonye on your laptop, tablet, phone, and all other devices at your own convenience anywhere from your cars to your homes and workplaces by visiting prophetelvis.com slash shop. Connect with Prophet Elvis Simbonye by going to www.prophetelvis.com slash Facebook, prophetelvis.com slash Twitter, prophetelvis.com slash Instagram, and prophetelvis.com slash YouTube. For this and more information, visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com.